Hello everyone, this is Gomrath with Gomrath Games, and today I'm going to bring you a two-pet guide to beat Blood Knight Antari, who is the last tamer in Outland. And he's really easily beaten with a mechanical Pandaren Dragonling and with a snail. So in the first slot, I would recommend the mechanical Pandaren Dragonling with Breath, Thunderbolt, Decoy, and then in your second slot, I would have a snail that's got Ooze Touch, um acidic goo and dive so right off the bat with your dragonling drop decoy um, to avoid the debuff that this first pet gives and then you're just going to spam breath until he dies um, now this guide can be used for an awfully big adventure or for leveling up another pet i like to have two pet strategies for uh, every tamer in the world that's above level 20 uh, so that I could bring a carry pet along to get just free extra experience. So you kill the first guy after you finish spamming him to death with breath, and then you're going to switch into your snail. Now snails are an awesome counter to elemental type pets because they are a double counter where they deal additional damage to and they take reduced damage from. So I like to start off with acidic goo um, just because it gives you a 25% damage buff. And as you can see, I just hit that guy for close to a thousand damage. So I switched my leveling pet at this point, and I was hoping that the Exidic Goo would kill him, but he was left with 66 health. So then I switched into my Dragonling to finish him off, and then my Dragonling's easily able to take care of the last other pet. If you found this guide helpful, a like rating is always appreciated. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more WoW content and comment below. Let me know what you're interested in having me cover or if there's any questions that you have at all about pet battles or World of Warcraft. I have been playing this game for many, many years. Anyway, it was a pleasure gaming with you. Have a great night.